If you want to know how to build an effective opt-in page, then you are in the right place. Because in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. My name is Agnieszka and this channel is all about affiliate marketing and making money online. So if you're interested in these subjects, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications. The video is coming right up. Okay, so why would we build an opt-in page? Of course, to collect emails, because this is a very important thing when you are running an online business. Uh, you have to be building your list, because in this way, you are turning the traffic that you control, so for example, traffic coming from ads, into traffic that you own. So you're building your asset, because once you have an email address to a recipient, you can keep emailing him uh, with offers and build the relationship and the connection. And although you might have heard that email is not working so well anymore because we have all these social media platforms, I assure you that this is not true because email still remains a very powerful tool, especially in the business area. So in this video, I'm going to show you uh, an opt-in funnel that consists of two pages. So the first page will be the opt-in page, which we can call also a squeeze page. And the second page would be the thank you page. So in order to build an effective opt-in page, you will need some kind of leak magnet. So this is something that you will give out for free uh, because the person will give you their email address. So in this way, you give them the reason to leave this email address there. So you can come up with uh, many ideas for a leak magnet. It can be an ebook, it can be some kind of report, it can be a video, a PDF. So there are many possibilities and you just have to think about something that will be useful to your target audience. So let's jump to my computer now. I will show you how to build such funnel very easily and quickly uh, using a tool called ClickFunnels. And ClickFunnels is by far the best uh, funnel builder software that I can totally recommend. And you will see how easy it is to build there. Okay, so we are inside of my ClickFunnels account and uh, inside of the section that is called Funnels. And when we want to create a new funnel, we just click on Add New Funnel. And I'm going to use the classic funnel builder here. So I click Click Funnel. And here you choose uh, the goals for your funnel. So you can either choose Collect Emails, Sell Your Products, or Host a Webinar. So now we, are want, we want to collect emails. So we're going to go for the to choose collect emails. Um, the name would just be the test one for today's video. And as you can see, it al already loads two steps uh, that I was telling you about. So the opt-in page and the thank you page. So here you can use um, different email opt-in templates. So as you can see, you don't have to come up with uh, anything on your own. You can use um, any of the templates here and you can just adjust um, uh, them to your needs. So I like to use very clean templates. So I'm going to go for some... So you could use this template, for example, if you had an image of your uh, leak magnet. So for example, an ebook. Uh, but you can go also for a really simple one like this one. So now it's loading uh, into our account. And once, it, once it's loaded, we can start editing it. So as you can see, you have a, a ready a template here and you can just adjust it to your needs. So you can edit the text. I'm going to show you what you can do um, so you can see how easy it is in, and simple. So let's just check, uh, change something in the headline. So let's go for um, Uh, 
Okay, so as you can see, it is super easy to edit. Then we can also edit um, the button. So we can, for example, change the color for uh, red and we can change uh, what's written here. Um, as you can see, um, you can also change the font size. Uh, you can um, you can also uh, change the text color so it, you can adjust everything to your needs and then uh, you're gonna um, connect this email opt-in form to your autoresponder so then you just go to settings and integrations and you should have uh, connect your um, uh, email autoresponder before to click funnels which is very easy and I have a tutorial on that so I will leave the link in the description box but if you have the uh, autoresponder already connected then all you have to do is select your autoresponder here uh, add to campaign and select the list uh, that you want it to go and you're ready so you save it and it's ready and so you can also edit what's written here. You can just leave, for example, name, uh, or you can write whatever you want. You can also collect different fields because you can add an element here and you can select input. And if you wanted to collect something different here, you can change for whatever thing you want to collect. But uh, what I can tell you is um, that um, it's the best to just collect an uh, email address and a name or sometimes even uh, just an email address. So there are two schools because if you um, collect the, the name, then you can then personalize the messages. And when you collect only the email, the opt-in uh, rate uh, tends to be higher. So it depends what you uh, prefer, but I'd like to collect the name as well because then uh, when you have uh, a personalized email, it uh, tends to work better, but it's up to you. So now we have our opt-in page ready and all we have to do is save it. So we're saving it. And we can move on to the thank you page. And for the thank you page, uh, we are also gonna select uh, some template. Okay, so here is the second step and we have a lot of templates for the thank you page to choose from. So let's just discuss what should be included on the thank you page. First of all, there should be downloadable link to the leak magnet that we promised on the opt-in page. Other option is to send this lead magnet automatically uh, via email. And in that case, you would inform this person that the lead magnet is on its way to his email. And what is also good to include on a thank you page is a video, because then you can tell something more about the uh, lead magnet, you can thank uh, for the trust uh, of uh, leaving the email, and you can tell something about yourself and start building connection uh, with your list. So let's just choose, um, for example, this template. Uh, because it's, it's a very simple uh, template and with a video as we want it. So we're going to edit this page. So let's just get rid of uh, things um, that are not mine. We can say And let's say that um, um, that the uh, lead magnet is going to be sent by email. So I'm going to get add some add subheading. Um, or, or we we told about tutorial of things. I think but it's not really that important and of course you can change the font here so you can change it for example for red and uh, here to edit the video you just input the link for example I'm gonna input the link to um, um, to my video on YouTube and here you can uh, also 
uh, leave a possibility to, to join the Facebook group. So to edit this link, you would just go here and set action, submit order form, go to website URL and here uh, you just input your um, Facebook group address. So it's really super easy. And then you can preview the page. And you can see there is a video of me. Congratulations. So it's all really easy. So now I've added the integration to the opt-in page so we can just uh, try and test the funnel. So let's try and test it. So now we are on the opt-in page and we're going to input some kind of email address and you see we have the thank you page. So it's super easy and in my email marketing software in GetResponse I will be getting this email, which was a fake one, so I have to delete it, but you can see that it works and it is super easy. Okay guys, so I hope you found that video helpful and that you could see how easy it is to build an opt-in funnel using ClickFunnels. If you want to try ClickFunnels for free, then there is a link uh, down in the description box to the ClickFunnels 14-day trial. I encourage you to try and also if you have any comments, please leave them below. I'm happy to answer and see you in the next video.